Hi, this is Mike Bidding from Uber and Sooner. Uh, we're at the IMS show, booth 655, and we're, we're uh, highlighting this week at the show a end-to-end uh, -end RF over fiber distribution system. So what we're, we're showing here, if we could zoom in on this uh, schematic, is, is what you might see in, in a uh, satellite ground station application or an RF test lab kind of application where we have RF signals on one side and we're getting them to uh, receivers on the other side. In this case, we're using cameras for the, uh, the optical transmit, uh, the RF generation, and we're using monitors to show the RF uh, receive on the other side. In the middle, well, we have a number of Uber Sooner com components uh, that are in the optical realm. And so that's a little, what we're doing differently here is we're distributing RF over optical fibers. So if we go back uh, to the rack here, you can see uh, we've got a couple cameras, again, generating the RF signal. The RF signals come down to these uh, converter boxes where the RF, the electrical RF signals are converted into optical signals. So the RF is now riding on an optical carrier through the optical fiber. Now we're using uh, very low cost optical fibers to distribute those RF signals. We bring those down and we use an optical multiplexer be to take, in this case, two signals, put them onto a single fiber at different optical carriers, um, and then we, we could transmit that some distance. You can put uh, uh, many signals, uh, many RF signals onto a op single optical fiber uh, because the bandwidth of the fiber is so tremendous. Uh, you could put up to 80 or, or even more uh, signals on that, that fiber. Here we're doing two. It, it's coming out on, a, those two RF signals are coming out on a single fiber. They're being split and amplified uh, for distribution purposes um, and then transmitted. And then we reverse that on the other end here. We take the, the two signals on a single fiber. We break them back out into two fibers. Uh, from there, we're going into an optical switch. The optical switch is then able to switch the, uh, the channels uh, uh, back and forth. And then from there, down to an, uh, an optical to RF converter in which we're, is fed to the monitors. So the bottom line here is, is this is an RF distribution system using fiber optics. This is nothing new. I've been doing this for 35 years myself, uh, trying to bridge the gap between the RF world and the optical world. And, and this is just our latest uh, work on that. And this is uh, bringing together a lot of different pieces of Uber Sooner gear because we find, as I've found in my career, that there are a lot of RF engineers are, are, are not, uh, not as uh, familiar with or comfortable with optics, uh, fiber optics, but what we have here is Uber Sooner owns all these pieces and we can bring them together into a solution where the customer specifies the RF input parameters, the RF output parameters, and how they need to be distributed, and we can design the, uh, the entire system from front end to back end uh, to deliver that capability using a modern RF over fiber uh, distribution system. Uh, we've done this for some customers in satellite ground station applications, in RF uh, test lab applications, and uh, anywhere you, you, you need to have long runs or high frequency runs where, where the cables get, uh, get uh, obtrusive, or you're in an environment where the cables are a problem like an RF test chamber, uh, you can do these optical transitions and use those fibers to, to transmit those signals uh, and, and get the benefits of the fiber. Along the way, you know, the, the optical switch here, uh, we use these in data centers and digital applications, but it works equally well uh, for this RF uh, uh, distribution of signals. And the, and the switch itself can be quite intelligent. It has uh, the ability to monitor the incoming power, the optical power, and so you can remotely log in and see where the power is coming in and going out, and, and so you can remotely find, uh, you know, do diagnostics on a system. But it also allows you to remotely reconfigure the system. Um, the, R the optical switch was not designed as an RF switch, but it works very well as, a, as an RF switch with very low crosstalk at any frequency. It, it works as a... Uh, uh, very high density, you can do uh, up to 192 by 192 in a, in a 3RU rack mount with 75 watts. Uh, you can even go larger in port count and uh, also do a 48 by 48 in a single U that's 25 watts. So 
compared to a, a traditional RF switch, it's very low power, uh, uh, crosstalks in the 110 dB range uh, at any frequency. So this, this allows you to, to treat the network as a remotely reconfigurable network uh, where you can use the switch, uh, remote commands to the switch to reconfigure your, your network to, to go to this antenna or that antenna or this receiver or that receiver. Uh, and so that's what we're showing here is end-to-end -end RF solution capability using a variety of Uber and Sooner components from cube optics, uh, Uber and Sooner cube optics, Uber and Sooner Pilatus, and the Uber and Sooner uh, main, main company that's uh, best known for cables and connectors, but now is entering the system solution realm. Thank you.